Of the millions of ancient trees in the country, how do you pick the best? Well, later on, we'll be introducing you to this gnarly old soul in South East London, contender for Tree of the Year. Now, we probably take them for granted, don't we? The trees that are all around our streets, parks, and even rooftops in the capital. But there's an award that gives them rightful recognition, the award for Tree of the Year. Wendy Hurrell has been finding out more. They are nature's climbing frames, living sculptures, the verdant architecture of a city which enhance almost any vista. And for a shortcut to feeling calm, I highly recommend doing this. Trees literally help us breathe. And there's one of particular note in Greenwich Park, a contender for the Woodland Trust's Tree of the Year. But this year we really wanted to have a focus on the urban environment, trees and urban areas. We know that 80% of the UK population lives in urban areas and uh, the trees in, in these sorts of areas are really important for those people. They have such a deep connection to people there. The 360-year-old sweet chestnut was planted at the behest of Charles II because he wanted his park to look like the ones in France. Its gnarly shape now gives it such character. These trees, like ancient veteran trees like this sweet chestnut behind me, are vitally important for people. They've, they hold such sort of kind of cultural value. All the sort of kind of cracks and crevices and nooks and crannies that sort of open up in these trees are vitally important for wildlife. So that's why woodpeckers nest in them. Uh, you get owls associated with them, small mammals, bats, fungi, invertebrates. It's up against 11 others. One in Surrey, the Crouch Oak in Adelston. Queen Elizabeth I had a picnic under it once. So they're entwined with British history and with 3,000 trees in Greenwich Park alone, it's a lot of work to look after the old ones. For the chestnuts specifically, the veteran trees, a lot of work was done by our tree team several years ago where they ensured that the soil health around the tree was kept healthy, which means the tree is healthy. Um, so they did a lot of aeration around those trees and then mulching with hardwood wood chip on top and they engage volunteers to help them do that um, and that's something that we're looking to do this autumn as well so some further mulching of those trees. Part of this competition then is to campaign for better protection of veteran trees so more generations benefit from their boughs. We've got until October the 15th to vote for our favourite on the Woodland Trust website. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London.